Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Fisher Price Imagine X DC Super Friends Clayface. Recommended for ages three to eight. Uh, this is a really neat, really cute little version of Clayface. Now, you know Spot, Spot's a big fan of Clayface. So in any incarnation of Clayface, Spot wants to get a figure of him. And uh, the Imagine X version of Clayface looks very cool. He's got an open mouth and I'll show you that when we get this opened up. Down below, very happy Batman. He is very, very happy. I don't know where Robin is, but Batman is extremely thrilled to be part of this line. Uh, on the back of the package. Speaking of thrilled, look how happy this child is playing with the bat cave. His father, a very good father, playing with his son, playing with the adventures of Batman. You can remove Clayface's hammer, and Batman also fits inside Clayface. Let me also bring your attention to how happy Batman is, despite the fact he is inside the mouth of Clayface. It says imagination and creativity, special features like the Clayface mouth opening to eat, in quotations, eat Batman. Eat Batman. <laughs> Encourage imaginative play. To further create imaginative play, you can also get the main, uh, Wayne Manor, which also looks like it comes with a Bane. That kind of interests me as well. There's a Bat Boat, a Bat Copter. There is a Joker Harley Quinn 2 pack, uh, an individual Batman with, it appears to be a scuba tank or scuba uh, vehicle. And then, of course, the Batcave. Small parts may be generated, so not recommended for ages 0 to 3. You can head over to the good folks over at Fisher Price. www.fisher-price.com is your destination for everything Imagine X. Spot's going to take a break and uh, get this opened up. When we come back, we're getting a better look at the Batman villain known as Clayface. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. From package, Clayface comes in two pieces, the main Clayface piece of him, and then of course his hammer. His hammer, unlike Clayface, is a little softer, it's a softer rubbery plastic, and you can take it and clip it onto Clayface. Now, you have to kind of do some finagling to get it over the thumbsies, the thumbsies of Clayface, because you have to kind of, let me get my, let me get Clayface's thumb going on in there, kind of have to get it in there and then around that loop. And once it's on there, eh, there we go. You can get the hammer on Clayface. Doesn't quite look the same coloring as the plastic. It's a little uh, lighter in color, but it does the job. It does the job very well. I guess, if anything, the hardest part is probably just getting the hammer onto Clayface. Uh, I probably will maybe even display Clayface. Yes, I will probably display this Clayface. I'll probably display him with the hammer. It doesn't really matter what age this is geared towards. You gotta really admit, if you look at this, you really have to acknowledge the fact that this is a really cool looking toy. Uh, Clayface, very represented, and he's a good stocky build of figure as well. Uh, I suppose also his main gimmick is the back of his head. His back of the head opens. It uh, there's like a little like a little ledge that you can put your thumb on there, your little thumbsies on to lift that ledge. Now granted, if you've got some moisturizer on your hands, Spot moisturized his hands so they look nice, soft, and supple, smooth. Uh, they, it's a little harder to grab onto it, but you can say that it would fit, it would accommodate a good Imagine X sized figure, ranging from Superman to Batman. Superman, I think, would fare a little bit better inside Clayface. I think he could get his way out. Batman, unless maybe he had just one of his gadgets, uh, Batman might struggle a little bit more. Um, also, too, it uh, it kind of looks to me, with these eyes, the eyes that I'm using, it kind of looks like Clayface is made out of a butter chicken sauce. <laughs> I can see like the little flecks of pepper. He's kind of got like a little slickness to him. Uh, the slickness doesn't come off. It looks like it's just actually the way that the plastic was molded. But it, to me, to me, it kind of looks like he's made out of butter chicken. <laughs> butter chicken sauce. On the back, Fisher Price. Made in China. And uh, 
His, his feet, his legs are a little more hollow, as you can see the inside of his feet area there. But for the most part, he's a really fun looking toy. We're just gonna take his hammer out. That seems, again, the hardest part to probably take and put on is just this hammer. Just put that to the side. In the way of your articulation, now granted it is Fisher Price, so it's a little more scaled back than a conventional toy, but his arms do rotate all the way around. And also his legs rotate back, well, more so forward, not so much back, but at least you can have kind of Clayface sitting down, just like so. He would probably topple over. Yes, he would topple over, but that is still a really fun looking toy. And of course, let's not forget the articulation in his mouth. Yum, 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 yum. I like butter chicken. <laughs> Uh, I do really like the white teeth on him as well. It really makes the... It, it brings a lot of the details out. Uh, the black eyes also have a really nice touch. It gives him enough depth. And I also like the fact that his mouth wasn't a uh, completely circle or curved mouth. It's kind of got like the little jaggedness to it. So with his mouth closed, it still gives him a really neat personality. And kind of if you uh, kind of just leave the, the mouth slightly ajar, it, again really gives a little more definition to that mouth area. Say what you will, Spot thinks this is a fun little toy. This would be almost enough for me to want to go and pick up Imaginex figures, just based solely on Clayface here. Whether you like Imaginex, whether you feel like you're a little more grown up for the scope of Imaginex, there is no denying that this is one adorably awesome Clayface. Today's toy spot, we were having a look at the Fisher Price Imagine X Clayface. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more toy spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Butter Chicken.